Julia Lee, first off, BHP, a big focus on costs, Julia. And uh, when rumours broke this morning, as I, or this afternoon, as I said, we did see the share price jump up a little. Investors seemingly reacting well to this Olympic Dam announcement. I think overall this is uh, quite a cautious uh, result coming out by BHP in terms of their capital expenditure spend. Now we have seen confirmation that capital expenditure for FY13 is at $22.8 billion but importantly it doesn't look like any more approvals will happen in this time frame and that means delays to a number of projects. Separately we have heard that Olymp Olympic Dam uh, won't be, uh, there won't be a decision made on it by the indenture agreement date of the 13th of December so it does look like back to the drawing board and talks between B BHP and the uh, South Australian state government and probably what we'll see to um, Olympic Dam and the expansion there is just a delay there given the market conditions but we w we have also seen a delay to the Peak Downs project the 20 billion dollar outer harbour expansion at Port Hedland that will be on hold and approval was expected there uh, by December and of course we know that no decisions will be made over the next 12 months so it does look like a delay there as well. So capital expenditure, we have seen these delays pretty much expected by the market given the conditions that we are seeing in commodity markets and um, the, uh, the what's happening in terms of China at the moment. We go through the key numbers. The expectations were for an underlying profit of 16.9 billion US dollars. That was consensus. It actually, the result came in slightly above but only a few percentage uh, points above at 17.1 billion dollars. We have a look at the dividend. It was expected to remain steady at 55 cents. So the dividend beat the actual result coming in at 57 cents. Revenue, it was expected at uh, 71.4 billion dollars that also beat coming in at 72.2 billion dollars so you can see these numbers just slight beats and we also saw the underlying uh EBITDA, EBIT numbers, NPAT, all are beating expectations just very slightly as well. All in all, I guess the market really focusing in on some of the commentary, and some of the commentary was quite bullish that the recovery in the U.S. housing market would be a positive for com com uh, commodities as well as uh, Chinese infrastructure spend, which would be a positive for commodities as well. But I think the big uh, key to the share price reaction is what's happened to BHP share price in the lead up to this result and if I can just bring up a 30-day chart of BHP billet and this is what it looks like and you can see this very impressive uptrend where we have seen BHP moving from a bottom of about $30 in July to being about around about $33.50 so we have seen a gain of more than 10% coming into this result this result while it did manage to just beat market expectations there's not enough in it as a catalyst to really move it up quite strongly uh, from the levels that we're seeing at the moment moment and I guess uh, I guess the market on the back of this commentary will simply be watching the comments coming out of China to get a more definite idea of what's happening in terms of short to medium term demand for commodities coming out of China so BHP slightly beating expectations but not enough to really propel it uh, forward given the strong price rise that we have seen over the last month and the share price up more than 10 percent from the bottom that we saw in July talk today just to move off BHP for a moment but uh, looking at analyst comments it's still pretty good value. Suncorp Melway uh, has impressed with the special dividend I think and that's what's really powered the uh, share price along and we have seen companies that have increased their dividends significantly or come out with, with a capital return in this type of environment have been well rewarded by the share market and we've seen that from Suncorp today Now they have come out with a dividend of 20 cents and a special dividend of 15 cents and of course the franking credits attached to that and one thing that Suncorp did have was a big franking credit balance so it does look like it's making use of some of that as you mentioned the, re the result coming in below expectations but having said that the insurance sector uh, it has seen a big bounce back we saw net profit after tax for Suncorp Mateway up by 60 percent now that's a result of less uh, big catastrophes in the market but great uh, pricing power as well and reinsurance costs not really rising too much in fact there does seem to be a lot of uh, reinsurance supply out there in the market so Suncorp its insurance division really powering along these results and although the uh, the result was below uh, what the market expected still a pretty strong result and that special dividend was really what powered the share price today.